I knew it! A trap! Welcome to the Sphere Company Anomalies. I am Azazer. I manage the security department and report directly to the owner. I don't know how you managed to outsmart station security, but nevertheless, I bid you welcome. Of course, I cannot even begin to comprehend how characters such as yourselves were able to cross through to the real world. What do you mean, outsmart? You're the one who let us through! Let you through? What are you talking about? You didn't arrange that incident back at the station? I don't know what you are talking about, but it's safe to say it had nothing to do with me. Hmm. I'll have to look into this later. I just might find a rat or two in unexpected places. But first, I must show you all some of our hospitality. Hospitality? Oh yeah, I'm sure you'll be very hospitable. Yes, of course. Then again, the direction our hospitality takes depends on your willingness to cooperate. What do you mean? I'll be brief. We won't delete you if you agree to assist us. Assist you? We find you extremely fascinating. Many of our developers over at the research division are deeply interested in studying you. So we're to become your guinea pigs then? Correct. If we agree to be your test subjects, will you stop the executioners that you release into our galaxy? No, that's simply not possible. The Milky Way has already been contaminated. That partition must be completely erased. You will be all that remains. There will be nothing left of your galaxy. Forget it, then. You think we'd actually agree to that? Hmm. Do we have a problem here? What about your friends? Yeah, we got a problem. What did you expect? Then you leave me no choice. I'll have to apologize to the research section later. I suppose it's only natural for dysfunctional entities such as yourselves to be deleted. You won't be deleting anyone without a fight. Just data! Be careful! Stop struggling and just... The 
security system. There's no turning back now. Yeah, we've come this far. The only way now is forward. Let's go to the research section he was talking about. Once we find the terminal that controls the eternal sphere, we can smash it to pieces.
like we got a tough fight ahead Let's of us. Let's give it our best shot!
trick. I let my guard down. Bye. <laughs> 
looks like a good fight. What 
goes around comes around. Guys, get a move on. Stop! 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 
where's Welch? Huh? In the restroom? She's been in there an awfully long time. What the? <sighs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, now for the report. Ahem. Long time no sense. Select the item for which you want to file a patent. Are you sure this is the item? Okay then, I'll have it evaluate. Here's the tentative evaluation of the item. That's a pretty good review. Once we test the market, we'll decide the quantity to distribute. There isn't anything for which you can file a patent right now. Do you have enough money for your development work? Shop information has been updated. Don't forget to collect valuables. Select a name to display information on an inventor. Preparedness now saves grief later. It's no use. This one won't open either. Man, they're like roaches. One after the other. There's no end to them. Still, we've entered the research section. Now it's just a matter of finding the office responsible for the Eternal Sphere. But we can't enter any more rooms. Maybe we need a key or something. If we could find that... No time for that. Here comes trouble. What? Uh-oh. We might not be able to handle this many. Don't say that. You're bumming me out. This way. was close. Thank you so much for helping us. Who are you? Isn't it customary to introduce yourself before asking fate, line god? <coughs> <laughs> I'm Blair. Blair Lansfeld. I'm one of the researchers developing the Eternal Sphere here. Blair. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm a friend of Flad's, the boy you met on Archives. You're his friend? He's been quite concerned about you, although this is all very exciting for him as well. This is not the place to discuss such things. Follow me. W hey The locks here are quite strong, but they can be easily opened if management really puts its mind to it. There are rooms with even tighter security up ahead. That is where the others are. The others? Yes, this way. Here we are.
These are the others who are in charge of the Eternal Sphere. Would you please explain to us what's going on? What are you going to do to us? I'll get right to the point. We'd like to offer you our help. Offer your help? Yes. Management has made a decision recently to which we're opposed. We don't think it is wise to directly intervene in the Eternal Sphere, even when unexpected situations arise. That's right. Sending in the executioners like that is a needlessly violent solution. We think of the Eternal Sphere as a parallel world, one we created with our own hands. But the life forms there now think and act on their own. Now that it has become a reality that exists on its own terms, we do not believe we should interfere. The only difference between you and us is the dimension we live in. I can see you've had a major influence on Flad. I believe so, but I don't think his mother is very pleased. We propose that the Eternal Sphere data should be placed in a museum where it will be kept safe from interference. We were discussing what to do about the executioners. We felt something must be done with these entities bent on destroying your galaxy. We will not turn you over to the security department without a struggle, for we feel a common bond with all of you. I get it now. It all makes sense in a way. You were saying the executioners must be dealt with. Do you have an actual plan for doing so? Yes. We've already prepared an uninstaller to remove them. This attack program will not affect the indigenous life forms of the Eternal Sphere, only foreign entities like the executioners. Despite their grandiose name, they too are nothing more than a type of program. We expect the uninstaller to work. If you've had such a handy little tool, why didn't you use it right away? This uninstaller has some limitations. It will only work if it's run within the Eternal Sphere. The Executioner Project was programmed in a manner that makes it impossible for us to interfere with it directly. So is that the only limitation? If so, we should just take it back to our dimension and use it. Entry into the Milky Way partition of the Eternal Sphere is currently not possible. Access from general terminals will be blocked until the Executioner procedure is complete. Yeah, but... We were able to enter the Milky Way through the large terminal in Gemini. Yes, you are unique. I don't exactly understand the mechanism, but you seem to have the power to break through the barriers separating your dimension and ours. It's incomprehensible to me, but the fact remains. It seems to work. Hmm. I see. Care to share, Maria? You're pretty dense. In short, we need to take the uninstaller to the Eternal Sphere, because we're the only ones that can go there right now. That's correct. Our goals are the same, so I'm sure you have no objections. Will using the uninstaller really destroy the executioners? Yes, it will. You can count on it. After all, Blair programmed it. She's the best, or at least second best, programmer in the Sphere Company. I don't know about best or second best, but I try to create the best programs I can. Okay. You have our trust. Thank you. So how do we get back to the Eternal Sphere? Should we head back to Gemini? It's not possible to travel to Gemini right now from this building. The route to the station has already been sealed off, most likely to prevent your escape. In that case, you'll have to use a terminal within this building. There are terminals in this building, too? Yes, there are, but... What? Is there a problem? It's location. The location? Yes. The terminals are located in the highest security block within this building. The security department has probably beefed up its presence over there. Is that all? There's no problem with the terminals themselves? I don't think there'll be a problem. I haven't heard about any new security enhancements either. It's always been configured to prevent access to the Milky Way galaxy. But since you were able to travel there before... Then we have nothing to worry about. We just need to get going. Right. So Blair, tell us how we can get to that terminal. The terminal is in the owner's office on the top floor. Okay. Everybody, 
Let's go! Wait a moment. I'm going with you. You're coming? Blair, what are you talking about? I don't think you could make it to the top floor by yourselves. Security measures will have likely been put in place to stop you. I might not be much help in the Eternal Sphere, but I can still help while you're here. I won't be much use in a fight, though. But... Why not? We could use her help. Yeah, there's too much we don't understand. We shouldn't turn down help when it's needed. Okay, thanks for offering. You can count on me. This way. Let's use the large elevator beyond this door. The terminal for the Eternal Sphere is on the top floor. was that? Great. I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun. Very disappointing, Blair. I knew we held somewhat different ideals, but I never thought you'd betray me. That voice? Is that the owner? Owner, please listen to me. I hate to lose you, but that cannot be helped now. If the root cause is not eliminated, it will contaminate that which is still uncorrupted. Corrective measures oh, are no. necessary. 
Blair, what's going on? It seems the owner, Luther, has gotten wind of our plan. I fear he intends to delete you, and me as well, now that he knows about my complicity. I have a bad feeling about this. Do whatever you pleased. Belzebur. What a pity. Seems the owners decided to delete you too. You have defied the owner in spite of the risks that you knew were involved. <laughs> Since we go back such a long way, we'll try to make your death as painless as possible. This is the real thing. This doesn't look <laughs> Your precious little uninstaller. It's completely useless. The owner has al already. <laughs> The owner has what? What has he done? I thought I understood, but after seeing it myself, I find it hard to believe. Believe what? The power you all possess to think you could defeat these two. And I'm really astonished to see you are able to invoke symbology in this dimension. How is that possible? Does it frighten you? You haven't changed your mind, have you? You don't 
think we should be erased? Don't misjudge me. I'm sorry. It's okay, as long as you understand. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but what are we going to do about that elevator? Is there any other way to the top floor? There is another way, but I'm afraid it will be swarming with enemies. If it's the only way, then we have no choice but to take it. True.